2020 Triumph Street Triple 765 RS Review First Ride. More mid-range power and quick shifter for Triumph's middleweight sporting naked. How about giving incremental updates a little love? So many riders seem to immediately dismiss mid-cycle revisions of motorcycles as being BNG, bold, new graphics, or, as with one comment this week, BNH, bold, new headlights. In the case of the 2020 Triumph Street Triple 765 RS, the comment completely misses the point. Sure it would be great if every model year was a complete Mackie over year after year but there's something to be said for incremental refinement. Model year 2020 is one of those fine-tuning times, and Triumph has delivered a street triple that is better in two very practical ways. Additionally, there have been some appearance changes that are bound to appeal to many riders. And all this comes at no increase in cost to the buyer. Sounds like pretty good news to me. Triple play. We'll start looking at the STRS changes with the engine, which in addition to the annual goal of improving performance included the need to become Euro 5 compliant. Looking at the fun stuff, the increased performance all riders crave, Triumph focused on improving the engine's mid-range performance while not sacrificing the top-end rush that separates the RS from the bulk of the middleweight naked class. Working our way through the engine. The intake duct that resides between the angrier dual headlights and the new, swoopy fly screen has been tuned for improved flow in the mid-range. While the cylinders, and their 77.99mm x 53.4mm bore and stroke remain unchanged, a new exhaust cam manages the spent charges exit into the exhaust. The exhaust headers feature a new balance pipe again for the mid-range bump in power. Finally, the new silencer utilizes two catalysts to allow for freer breathing and throatier exhaust note. All of these changes combine to produce a net 9% increase in torque at 9000 rpm. While that is nice. The real news is that the new torque curve separates from the 2019 models at just 6000 rpm where street riders can actually use it and stays above it until around 10500 rpm. Naturally, because of the mathematical relationship between torque and horsepower, the mid-range also receives a 9% bump at 8000 rpm. The long and the short of it is that both the horsepower and torque curves have lost their pronounced dips in the mid-range while keeping the same peaks of 121 HP and 58 pound-foot of torque. However, the mid-range power isn't the only improvement to the triple's power delivery. Through the use of higher precision machining on the crankshaft, clutch, and transmission, the engineers were able to remove the engine's backlash gears. This reduced mass results in a 7% lower rotational inertia, translating into snappier throttle response. Triumph is quite happy to tell you that these changes to the engine were designed by the same engineers who created the Moto2 engine that is enjoying so much success on international racing circuits this year and for the next two. This is the point of racing, really. It pays off with developments that trickle down to the street side of the business. Although it isn't an increase in the engine's performance, the third improvement to the rider's relationship with the STRS power delivery comes in the form of the Triumph Shift Assist Up Forward Slash Down Quick Shifter. This is good news and, according to Triumph, was the most requested feature from riders in research conducted in the development of the Street Triple. However, an IMU was not included in the electronics package. So, the standard ERBs and TC do not take lean angle into account.